can see how unorganized my pantry is, or our pantry. We pretty much put our cereal up here in like fruit snacks and then we put random stuff. Plastic wrap, however, we do have next to the stove, we have this drawer that I pretty much organized. So we're gonna have bags, oven mitts, extra bags in there. Just because, you know, we need that. I'm also gonna keep these for cutting way back there. Then for the cereal, we're gonna clean this out. We're gonna buy more of these for cereal. We're not gonna have this much of cereal. These are just open ones. I did get these two from Dollar Tree. These two bins are gonna help. Um, these two bins are gonna help for organizing all of this. So everything you see in there will get organized in these. So for now, I'm just gonna put one in there. And I'm gonna put the other one. So they're kind of gonna look like this. All right. So they're kind of gonna look like like that but up here so i just need to get in here and get in here and take out everything that's in there that, that that's gonna go in the trash okay so yeah i have a lot of stuff so guys i'll be right back when everything's organized today and those were like this little um, tray right there so Jesse will eat you know different things on there also got Audrey busy house right now um, I got Audrey this little sandwich thing because she's getting into like peanut butter and jelly so when we go out and I'll get her her own little lunch bag so we can take it to go just like the one that uh, my son has right here He'll be using this for when we go out to run errands and we don't have to buy any food from, you know, like fast food, none of that, because that's a waste of money right there. And so, keep hearing the phone ringing. It's a commercial. Okay. And then, so yeah, we got that for a dollar for Audrey, for her sandwiches. And then we also got these extra little, um, what are these, Tupperware thing? Mm -hmm. There's four lids and four containers. They're a good size to put some meals, like prep some meals, warm them up and take them to go so we don't have to, you know, buy anything from fast food. And then again, this little one. Jesse has one. It's a red. This is Audrey's, a pink one. So we got that for her. We do have a, another frozen little flower one, which I'll show you guys in a minute. And then this drawer is right here by the sink and then the cutting board. I uh, just wanted to show you guys, get an idea. This drawer has like um, all their little things. I'm gonna start collecting these sandwich cutters because these have helped Jesse eat more, um, like eat his full sandwich. 
I don't know, I can't talk right now. Um, and that's why we have that there. I don't know, I need to get rid of this pass. We also got some of these today at Dollar Tree. They're in little containers where we can put snacks in there. So we got those. And then, what else? These little mini ones for Audrey. Little baby ones made with cereal. And then Jesse can use these, it doesn't matter. They didn't have it in blue, so we'll just give them purple. But that's where we're going to be collecting or leaving all their stuff in here. This is also where we're holding their um, little trays. I don't know if you guys can see. We have these kind of trays or bowls. And then we got a frozen one for Audrey. And then these that my sister gifted us for Jesse. And up there we have that frozen little container and a bunch of other containers. If you guys are interested in seeing the whole collection of that, you can um, go ahead and like this video or let me know. Um, for their food, which I need to bring down um, because I can't reach up there. And then also their little boxes of lunch. Can you get me those? Please. There you go. Okay, like these. I got these a while back from, from a dollar store. So I got Jesse's little box right here. And it just opens up like that. And it's a pretty good size, so you could put like a sandwich or something. Or, I don't know, we haven't thought about what we're going to put in there yet. And then this is Audrey's. It's a little mini mouse. How cute. Oh my god, Audrey. <laughs> Real life moments here. She just spilled a bag. Oh my gosh, mama. Like, really quickly, I'm going to show you guys. Um, this is hers. And it's the same size. You just have that space for a little quick sandwich or a little, uh, just a quick lunch. Good afternoon, or I don't even know if it's afternoon. It's 11.22, so I guess good morning, guys. I want to open my windows too much because the neighbors are, I think everybody's here. <sighs> Today, yesterday was trash day. Today was trash day, so they came to pick up our trash really early. So that's good. Um, right now, I'm working on making the kids some lunch we have this water this um thing right here um i'm not all for it i'm gonna tell my husband if we can go let me turn off the ac i'm gonna tell my husband if we can go get some water from sam's club because we do have a card with sam's mine as well thank you for helping me with sister oh my gosh the dining room's a mess you guys I mopped yesterday and today the kids are over here playing by the table. Be careful. Okay, so yeah, I do have to clean up the table, which is not a problem. Um, so the, the, chores, the chores are never done in your house. When you think you got it all under control, your chores are never done. It's like, it's never over, you know what I mean? Like, you're a mom or, or a stay-at-home dad, you, or even if you're just at home, even if you are doing stuff, one second. Well, it's never done. It's just never done. Like, taking out the trash and all that. I'm not complaining, I'm just saying, guys. This is a lunch bag I was talking to you guys about that I'm... I'm gonna show you guys now how I pack my son's bag and this is a lunch box, a lunch bag, but I will be um, putting lunches together for like a four year old and also like for a nine month old when you're on the go. Usually when I'm on the go and I have to get the kids ready for like an outing or grocery shopping, anything like that, my husband and I like to prepare food. We store it in the fridge, we store it in containers, which I'm going to show you, like so. I'm going to put the camera right So we put it in containers like so. These are just really easy ones where, um, you know, you could just store like your fruit and you're ready to go. Or you could just put some snacks in here. And for like my daughter, she's a nine month old baby. She really can't snack on everything that Jessie does than my four-year-old. So what I do is that I put her snacks in here and then like so, and then take it in that bag. So I'm gonna show you guys. His bag is a pretty, yes you can. 
his bag is a pretty big size bag and as you guys can see here um, it's pretty big size just like a lunch any kid you know size bag I say we're pretty set on for saving money when we go out because when we go out we try to buy if we're shopping for if we're shopping for clothing items, then we do want to get, you know, stuff on sale. So we don't want to go and spend the money on fast food, Chick-fil-A, or whatever. Nothing that, nothing that there's anything wrong with that, but we just don't want to spend, you know, like the extra money we're saving on food. You know what I'm saying? And also the bottom here, I wanted to show you guys, it does come with parts that you can put like utensils here or extra things at the bottom. So I think I am going to invest on one for my daughter because she does also need a lot of snacking in between. She doesn't, um, she won't eat like a whole sandwich, I'm pretty sure. She would eat like probably like this. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and get started on lunch for the kids. And they're going to have, they're going to have peanut butter and jelly. I'm sure my son's going to have just peanut butter. And my daughter likes jelly, but I'm going to sit her down in the high chair because I don't want to miss. I really don't want to miss in my kitchen. So. Um, we're going to go do that, and then I'm going to come back. water going oh and I'm also getting some some jalapeno I mean some chile serrano some chile serrano and some tomatoes because I'm gonna go ahead and make a salsa if I didn't already say that it's off balance but yeah got my tomatoes and I think I'm gonna go ahead and put all four of these and then all three of these chile serranos just gonna go ahead and boil them and it's 4.36 p.m. And I'm gonna do this kind of carne. This is the meat that I'm gonna be using. I don't wanna touch it right now because I don't want to get my hands dirty yet. <laughs> I have my hands clean, but I'm gonna have to rewash them anyways. Hope y'all can see better. That's the chunks of meat, stir fry. It says, it says stir fry right there. It's good to wash your produce, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then come back. So I just realized that I was not recording when I washed them, but pretty much I used my colander and I rinsed them out. That's all I did, and then put in my four tomatoes and my three three chile serranos um, to start my meat. So I don't have anything really big, so I'm gonna start. I guess I'll see if I use this one or if I use another one. Because I'm gonna let you guys go because I'm gonna get started on food. I'm gonna wash my hands again. My husband should be on the way. I actually expected him to be here an hour later, but he's showing up an hour early. So I'll show you guys when I'm cooking the food, how or what I chose to put in. So just stay tuned. 